The Money Watch tonight sucks for thousands of Florida foreclosure victims will finally be going out next week. But there is a growing debate on where most of the money is going and if foreclosure victims are really getting their fair share. CBS 4's chief consumer investigator Al Sunshine explains. Shannon, thousands of Florida families forced out of their homes by abusive foreclosure practices will finally be getting some money back. It's all part of a huge national settlement against some of the biggest banks nationwide. But it turns out most of Florida's money is not going to the actual victims. With one of the country's highest foreclosure rates, Florida got one of the largest cash settlements to close out a national investigation against some of the biggest banks in the country. Some $8.4 billion in penalties were earmarked to settle allegations that thousands of Florida families were illegally thrown out of their homes by banks using faulty paperwork. Some of the money was used by the banks themselves to lower customers' monthly payments. Last year, the state itself got more than $200 million for its own foreclosure relief programs, but it couldn't decide how to spend it. While the funds now grown to $334 million and the Florida Mortgage Relief Act was just signed into law. It gives millions to help families with down payment fundings, rental assistance, homeless aid, and neighborhood improvements. It also gives $73 million to the state's general fund. State lawmakers call it a great victory for homeowners. This money is going, it's going to help the homeless, it's going to help housing for the elderly, for the disabled, for um, neighborhood revitalization. But what about Florida foreclosure victims? Under the settlement, about 72,000 former Florida homeowners will each be getting checks for $1,480. Florida remains one of the last states in the nation to finally start distributing the National Mortgage Foreclosure Settlement Funding. And locally, critics question why it's taken so long and why local victims who actually lost their homes are not going to be getting a bigger piece of the pie. It's a complete and utter joke. Why? because it does not compensate people for the, the destruction of, of their property rights, their due process rights, and, and, and the destruction of, of, our, of our legal system. Weston foreclosure defense attorney Roy Oppenheim says millions will be going to the courts and will actually help speed up future foreclosures across the state. A lot of the money is going into the court administration process to speed up the foreclosure process even more and to fuel the rocket dockets. For now, there's no word out of Tallahassee when all the state's other homeowner assistant programs will kick in or how residents can apply for hundreds of million dollars that are available. Those $1,480 checks, they're expected to start going out over the next few weeks. On the Money Watch, I'm Al Sunshine, CBS 4 News.